All right, good morning, guys. Very late start this morning. I think it's about 10 a.m. Didn't really feel like getting out of bed too early this morning or doing much. Decided to come down the river for a fish. The weather's not too bad, bit of a southerly coming up at the moment. Um, so we've got a bit of a run out tide. Just gonna go and hit some deeper reefs, hop some lures along, soft plastics, and try and rustle up a uh, squire or maybe even a Jew. If that doesn't work, well, I'm not sure. I'll make something up. All right then guys, sit back, relax, and enjoy. Cheers. fish of the morning. Not much of one by the feel of it. Oh. Yeah, no, he's not huge. What do we got? Brim. Nice size brim. Do you get a few brim along here and they're always always of a pretty good size. Ow. Stop kicking, man. Stop kicking. Yeah, he'd be in this little low 30s. Not a bad brim. Not what we're after though. There we go, second fish of the morning. This one's a Jew. Yeah, he's fighting a bit like a Jewy, this one. Not big, only a little fella, I think. Let's see how much he grows on the way up. Just loosen my drag off a little, don't want to bust him off. What is he? Yeah, little Jewy. Only running a light line here, only 10 pound line, 16 pound leader. He's just a little school size fish. There we go. Not too bad. centimeters pretty standard here we'll let him go get him back in as quick as possible spear him in the less time you can spend with them on the deck the better all right so I got that little Dewey just floating that little imposter prawn down over a reef in about 12 meters of water now this happens a little bit after I release that fish. He did have a bit of life in him, but he came back up to the top. Might have had a little bit of barra trauma. So, when that happens, it's always a good idea to have one of these on board. This is just a little release weight that I jerry-rigged. Just a big snap of lead and a piece of wire. Hook that onto the fish, send him back down to the bottom. He had plenty of energy, he just struggled to get back down. As they go down, they recompress and they release a lot better. Alright, let's get another one, eh? straight onto a fish. Must have landed straight on its head. It's fair fish too. If 
flying a bit strange this one. I think he may be another Jew. That lure must have landed straight on his head. I don't know what he is. Oh, yuck. I wish it was a Jew. Oh, what a waste of a drift. The old dreaded. Ugh. Stay off my carpet. The worst. There we go, another fish. Feels reasonable, this one. He's taking a little bit of line, another Jewy, I think. He's what he feels like. I'll just back off him a little bit. You might be a bit bigger than the other one, I think. Maybe. Certainly a little more lively. Another little Jewy, about the same size. Might be even smaller. Oh, about the same. About the same. Very lively. There you go, another nice little Jewy. I'll get him back in. Oh, I've just got another hit then as I was playing with me drag. Here we go. Yep, yep, there we go. On again. This feels like a reasonable fish as well. Another Jewy, I think. He's fighting like one. Well, that's three Jewies in pretty quick succession. This one actually might be a little bit bigger again. a bit of a poke in him for a Jewy, yeah, maybe a little bit bigger, not a lot, but a bit. Another Jewy, bit of fun, try and get him out of the net before he goes crazy, which is not going to happen. Another Jewy here, around that sort of 65. That's three in a short space of time, so that's pretty good. All little fellas. Again, just trying to keep them out of the water as little a time as possible. Just ensure they release okay. All right, let's see if we can find some more. There we go, another fish. Ooh, he's giving me a bit of run. Dewey, I think. 
know what he's doing. Yep, I'm a little Jewy. Old Jewy's no squire. School size didn't bother measuring him, but he's you know sort of low to mid 60s. Pretty common when you're drifting these deeper reefs, chasing squire, you'll come across jewies. Sometimes, like today, you'll come across more jewies than squire, which is a good thing. I'm only uh, fishing for sport today. If I was fishing for a feed, uh, it'd almost be a bit of a nuisance, wouldn't they? Anyway, let's see if we can find something else. So all I'm really doing here is just hopping this little imposter prawn up down along the reef I'm trying to keep the line straight underneath the boat and hop that lure straight up I don't want to have my line I don't want to have a big angle in my line because that'll mean my lure is dragging sort of along the bottom which is a really good way to get hooked up on the reef that is you want to just hop it up and down, up and down, just making sure that it's hitting the bottom each time. Because we're moving so fast with the current, this is a lot more effective than casting and trying to retrieve, in my opinion. I've got very good connection with the lure. I can feel everything that's going on down there. I can feel every bite that happens, even with a lot of current. I'm covering a lot of ground as well, so I'm not really relying on, hang on let me hit um not really relying on my sounder per se to target specific fish i'll have a look and a sand in that area to know that there's fish around or bait and i'm just using the current and letting my lure mostly do the prospecting now i will see fish on the sounder as i'm coming past them and i'll often hook them up often hook up but try and stop and target fish when the current's raging like it does here in the Brisbane River it's quite difficult so you want to set drifts now if you've got a very big school of fish that you do want to target specifically you either need to up your up your weights and your lures quite significantly and spot lock next to them or continuously do drifts over where you know those fish are This sort of um, style of fishing will work anywhere on the Brisbane River along those deeper rocky sections. Now you have them all the way up from the mouth up right up to the city just about. There's no special place per se. Fisher can be anywhere on any given day. So you'll find out pretty quick if there's fish on the reef or not. If there's fish there, stay and target them. If there's no fish there, we'll move on, find another deeper bit of reef, or another deep bit of reef, I should say. Have a go there. Eventually, we'll come across them. The wind is getting fierce. Yeah. 
Same sort of size. It might be a little bit larger this one, but not a whole lot. Yeah, let them go. bigger on those sort of higher 60s very handsome little fish beautiful colors he's away starting to get a bit fierce the bite sort of died down a little bit as well I think that current starting to slow so I think I'll run up the river see if I can catch the last of the run out up there and find something else all right let's give it a go all flattered I feel like this is not a tiny little Jew <laughs> wow can catch the little Jewies. Yeah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> tiny little fella. There we go, there's a fish. Don't know what, it's not, it's not really doing anything. Wow. Little butt hooked mosey. Legit hooked in the ass. Alright 
right guys, we'll wrap it up there. Not a bad midday sesh. Heaps of small jewies around, but not too much else. No squire, which isn't really that surprising. They've been hot and cold in the river at the moment. Really windy today as well. I haven't been able to get out in a day that hasn't been windy, so I've really stuck to the port of late. Um, yeah, did get a couple of squire and one larger dewey yesterday. Um, the dewey was about 86 centimeters. I was out with Josh Charles from Bris Vegas Fishing. So if you want to see that footage, just tune into his channel. I'm sure that video will come out in the you know upcoming weeks. Uh, for tackle today, I was using this little Daiwa Tatula SV70. Really small little bait cast reel. I don't think you can get anything really smaller in Australia at the moment, actually. Um, I've paired that with a Samaki Zing Extreme V2, so it's a 6 to 12 pound rod. So, really light little combo, great fun for when you're chasing squire and smaller jewies in the river. Um, really good, really good sport. Anyway, that'll do us. I'll catch us on the next one. Cheers.